Hello and welcome to another episode of the Saver Ranch Plus Wolves. Spring has sprung in North Idaho. And we're getting out nice and warm in shorts and sleeveless t-shirts. And our plants are growing. Right here we have berry vines from last year. They survived the winter and they're coming in. This is a mullen or mullion. I don't know how to describe it. It's a very medicinal herb and it just grew as a weed. So we're leaving it. Oh, these things are from last year. They're like turnips and stuff. And I'll see if they do any good. I'm planting everything right now, so if they're not gonna do anything, I'm gonna take them out and um, replant. Same over here. Strawberries lasted from last year. They were covered in snow. And carrots from last year. Kohlrabi from last year. It's amazing. It's awesome, awesome. Robbie. Oh, maybe not. It looks something we got good. a berry vine there. Yeah, that's a berry vine, but we bought that recently and we planted it. And these are strawberries. We didn't buy those, so they lasted from last year. That's Probably. a berry that we bought recently and we planted. Yep. Oh. What about Kindle here? Uh, it's not a cat update. Cat update. Gotta have cats. So, uh, nothing over there. Oh. And in here, still in the process. I have all my seeds laid out and everything. Just but, like uh, the original. I even went back and looked at some of the original. And... Yep. So I've still got a couple more rows to go. And we're planting. This is important to note. Um, get your, the seeds laid out here. Your uh, onions. And I got garlic over there. And we have interspersed. Here's garlic. And got more onions over there. It really helps to take down the bugs. Keep the bugs off your... So you garden. evenly space out yes, exactly. those things in order to keep everything else safe. Also, I intersperse the large plants with the small plants. You know, like carrots don't get that big. So, I, you know, I intersperse those Yeah. so they don't crowd each other. I'm really trying to not crowd it, but here I am. Look how close these are. But I don't have that much space. So I'm going to be better this year about uh, thinning things out. Also, all these berries, they survived the winter. Yeah. I had to trim them because they were really in... in you know, encroaching. Intrusive. Yeah. And oh, those, oh. spinach over there, yeah. that's from last fall when I planted. Wow. They survived and they're starting to grow vig vigorously. Oh, over here is uh, potatoes. You can't see anything. They're, they're underground. Potatoes. So we planted those last weekend. That thing, it's all spiky. Oh, that is all wilty, but that is a berry vine that I dug up because it was in the way. And I thought, well, hmm. I'll put it in there, see if it will live. We'll have a a free berry vine. I don't know if you put this in the last uh, any shaver ranches, but oh, from the the very original one we did, this I marked off an inch. Yep. So these the like the beans trying to get it in oh. the sun. <laughs> beans have to be an inch buried. So, so that's what I do. Stick that in, yep. and uh, it's perfect. An you have to go a little deeper because dirt falls in as you go. Yeah. So berries from last year, blueberries and raspberries yeah. or whatever. Ooh, our new garden. Planted, uh, yeah, this is the one we built recently, and she planted onions a few a couple of weeks ago, and they're growing up nicely. Yeah, they're already Today, going. She planted the tomatoes. Tomatoes are the only ones that we have uh, done that we buy as plants. Yeah, because... and uh, sometimes strawberries. All right. This one I haven't planted yet, but we have onions growing from last year. Wow, cool potatoes in the potato bin. Yep. Over here I planted corn and for hundreds of years Native Americans or Indians as we call them uh, <laughs> <laughs> planted corn and squash together. They're like companions. So Companion I, that. I planted usually my corn only came to here but we had the old planter that fell apart and I got rid of it and this was where the chicken the new chicken yard is. Yeah. So I only had corn to here. So now we got corn all the way to the end. Very and nice. And we also have squash in here. Awesome. And we're pro making progress on this. I don't know yeah. if we had the ceiling up or ceiling and roof. <laughs> I don't remember. Up, but we got this whole thing in. Uh, we're still in progress of working on the door there. Yeah, that door has to go in. Now we, today, put the baby chicks inside yep. so the baby chicks are in there now they're gonna stay closed and they're in a small box in the basement with a heat lamp so i put the heat lamp on a timer in here for nighttime only 
because nice. they have most of their feathers and they're they're like uh, getting older. Yep. But we're not going to let them out because they're going to fight with the other chickens. Yeah, or, we have this all one yard at the moment because yeah. we don't have a door yet. Right. So they will stay in there until they get older and we'll have the door put in. And we're still, it's just, you know, we're doing what we can when we can and uh, we don't have our big, our big uh, oh, yeah, we have enclosure get... yet. Yeah. So we're still working on that. Not planted asparagus in here. Not planted. Mommy put peppers in here today. Peppers. And not planted. The reason we have this is just to keep the cats from pooping in it. Yep. Mommy planted uh, like onions and whatever Cabbage. Is. Cabbage and onions in there. Nice. We have this space here because the deer jump over the fence. Yeah, we needed a space for the deer to jump. So we don't want them jumping because we're going to have to put a fence here. Yeah. It will look better when we have it all organized. And <laughs> we don't have all this yellow mesh all over the place and everything. Yep. And once the plants get established, we don't worry as much with the cats getting in and pooping. Yep. She put uh, squash in here. Squash in here because we want squash. It's a very good plant. Yep. Now this is the asparagus that we've shown before and it's only supposed to grow maybe six inches or so. Six to ten. Yeah. So I'm just going to go ahead and let it grow again this year and let it get really established and then next year we'll probably be able to Because it does, some of it. it still looks really thin. Yeah, it's very thin and uh, and it's too big now. It's yeah. already starting to bloom out. Because once they get that big they start to become woody yeah. and then you can't eat it. So. Originally had potatoes in here, still do, and I just des decided to plant potatoes in here, kind of keep them all together. And they take a little bit of shade, so the garden shed here will shade them a bit. Speaking of... Transfer camera. Howdy! I'm still shirtless again. It's too hot for me. Look, <laughs> the moon is rising. Oh, look at there. So, we have almost got our garden shed done. Oh, we... I'm switching hands, okay. If we close this, you see that we've got it all painted, yeah. finally. I have to move so the sun is in it. Oh yeah. There we go. And what a chore it was. It's not easy. Yeah. <laughs> I don't like painting, but it's done. Uh, the only other thing that I need to do to it is I need to install a system of shelves into it. So as you can see, I've got a support bracer in there. I'm gonna leave this open because I got some paint here too I'm letting dry. It's nice to have the light. Yeah, light and it's ventilated. The only issue with the ventilation is the fact that the wasps absolutely love it in here. Mm -hmm. They've already developed three nests that I had to take out so that I could work in here today. And um, I'm not sure what I'm gonna do as far as shelving is concerned. I was thinking maybe a high shelf and a low shelf that's shallow so you can reach without having to... Yeah, better. and it's not gonna come out too far. Yeah, it just needs to come out a little bit so we can put stuff here. I thinking about just... putting two by fours here with nails so we can hang tools. Shovels and rakes. Tools, garden tools and such. And just, you know, I don't know, we'll figure it out. But <laughs> this yeah. is what it is. You can even put just a two by four in here. Yeah, just across. Just to put little things, little cans of whatever. Yeah. But you have to make sure it's not going to be affected by sunlight. Yes. Don't need uh, mm -hmm. that we have that a happen. transparent roof. Yep. So that's that. Yay. Anything else? I don't think so. The f garden is coming along. It's working and working. Shaver Ranch is moving along. Yep. Awesome. Well, okay. if you like these things, please like and subscribe for more. And we will see you in the next episode. Bye. Bye-bye.